Hello YouTube, this is GamerZ1 and today I'm going to be showing you how to easily transfer uh, games like Metal Gear and uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. They're like 2 gigabytes, but they're actually really simple. Alright, what you're going to need to do is first of all you're going to need the like, uh, QCMA and you want that to connect to your Vita and then after it is loaded and it sees your Vita then you want to go into the stupid information um, go into QCMA and go to settings and where it says video folder change it to wherever you want to put your videos at right I have put it on my uh, my hard drive my one terabyte hard drive and I'm in here right now actually as you can see and uh, where are you I'm gonna be transferring this game it's actually to love are you the game there for the Vita Japanese game which is the most weirdest game I've ever played but you want what you really want to do is to change the extension from VPK to MP4 as you can see, that's what I'm doing. MP4. As you can see. Boom. The extension has been changed. And to show you how to get to that, one second. I just have to. One second. Sorry. One sec. It's really not hard to do. Just gotta find the actual. There we go right here stupid hand um, you go to view right and then you go over here it says file name extension make sure that's clicked after you're done with that well you can actually just close this wherever hell you close it <laughs> I'm just trying to get remove it there we go it's gone all right now it's an mp4 file now now go back to your Vita damn wires and go to Vitio oh and you also want to refresh the database as well because uh, it doesn't usually show up unless you do that. Alright, refresh database. So it sees everything. As you can see, I have Metal Gear showing up on here. But this is the one I want to transfer. Do not click it, it'll make it freeze. Just go and click this. Click copy. And then click on the game you're going to transfer. And then copy over. You don't have to use no FTP server. Whatever, I don't care, my battery level is low. It doesn't take very long at all. You'll be waiting much longer doing it by FTP. Much longer. This way, it's literally pretty much the fastest way you could do it. And also you could do uh, the splitter for the for the game as well and then split it into two files or something and transfer it that way too. But I don't really care because this, this way you actually you're not really waiting too long for the file to get transferred to the Vita. And it's actually extremely simple. So. Just allow it to do it. It takes a few. But once it's done... You just install it. I don't know if there's any file size limit anymore on the on the ins on the manager to install stuff. So select that. Now you can exit it. And also, uh, it's actually a good way to do it right here because uh, it seems like to me that it remembers stuff when you transfer stuff to the Vita. It'll remember the that you transferred something to it and the storage your storage will actually decrease 
and there's no way to get it back unless you do it this way. It actually still knows that you have something there and you can just make sure you do not delete it from this. Make sure you just do not delete it. Now you go and find it, go to UX0, open that up, and then go to video. You'll have a video one on here. Video. Open that up. And depending on if you transferred videos, you'll have the files in here. I just, uh, there it is. The first one I clicked on it is the right one. And go down, click triangle. And what you want to do is rename it back to VPK. Now, rename it back to VPK. Boom. Now it's a VPK file again. And you click install. Just like that. And after you're done installing, you want to change it back to MP4. So you can delete it through the video manager. It takes a second, just like you usually would be installing something. But, yeah. That's all you need to do, really. I don't even really need to show you this installing, but I will, I guess. Just so you believe me that it's working. But, literally, this is possibly the easiest method. I know I'm using a lower version of the Vita shell right now because I can't get it to update right now. I guess there's like some type of, you know, flaw in the updater on here. And the newer one actually got rid of that flaw. I still have to update. But, I will do that later. But right now, this is all you need to do. As you can see, if I would maybe split the file, it might install a lot faster. But, does that really matter? Yeah. I've been uh, trying to figure out easier ways to transfer stuff. But I think you actually could make a custom VPK uh, transfer on here, on the manager itself, and just make it so you can just transfer VPKs. But, right now, you just need to rename the extension to MP4, and that makes it as easy. And, yeah. Not hard at all. Damn it, I'm trying to read the video, like, on how long you can have a video, damn it. I might need to cut out, but it's at, like, 40, almost 47%, so, as you can see, it is installing, and, yeah. You don't really need to see more, I guess. But to make sure you rename it back to MP4, put the ex file extension back to MP4, and then go to video and delete it. Because if you don't, and you just delete it from here, it'll still take up the file space of the fucking uh, memory card and say that you still have it on there. And I still can't figure out how to, to remove that stuff. So. This is my best way of being able to transfer stuff, and it's actually much easier than the current method. Alright, thanks for watching, and please subscribe, and uh, I'll try to make more videos about the Vita. Thanks for watching.